Hi there, it's DJ B, and in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to paint a black model horse. Black is a color that would seem simple, but really to achieve effective black you need to layer several colors to create a depth to your color that looks more than just flat black. This method can also be done with pastels using the same kind of colors for the different layers. For this tutorial, I like to keep reference images on hand. As you can see with the image I have, the horse is not completely black. You want to have the model that you're planning on painting primed and ready. So then I'm going to be using four different colors for this. We're going to be using golden high flow acrylic, which can be put right into the airbrush. I'm going to be using the colors raw sienna, burnt sienna, sepia, and carbon black. The airbrush I am using is an Iwata Eclipse HPCS. I'm going to start with that raw sienna color and this will be mostly for the base coat. So I'm going to want this horse to look almost completely yellow without leaving any of the white from the primer. I like to keep certain areas darker such as the flanks and the elbows as well as some places in the face so that this is the prominent color that will be showing through on the finished model. So then when you're done with each of these colors, you definitely want to clean your airbrush. I use Iwata Media Airbrush Cleaner and just give it a good clean before switching to the next color. The next color we're going to use is the Burnt Sienna. This is kind of a reddy color and we're going to achieve the major darker points of this model, leaving some of that yellow sheen to show through, but mostly this is a full body coverage as well. Paying attention to the shading darker along the back, on the belly, at the top of the neck, and leaving some of that yellow color to peek through. Once you're happy with that, we're going to move on to the sepia color. And this is just kind of a brown color that's a little bit darker. You're gonna wanna utilize this and really darken up the model, leaving those flank and elbow areas exposed as well as areas around the muzzle. But you can really darken up the legs, the top line, the top of the neck, down into the shoulder. And I also recommend going over those flank areas with a little bit of this brown, but not entirely, just light shades. So you keep the airbrush light and work to dark. You can't undo dark paint that you've applied, but you can darken up light areas of paint that feel too faint. So once you're happy with that, we actually are going to add black on top and this is just the carbon black. Make sure to do this layer with caution. So you want the model to darken up really nice, but you want to use thin layers so that some of those dark brown tones peek through. Really emphasize that shading that you've put in there. So in natural light, this model might look completely black, but if you bring him into really bright sunlight or underneath an LED light, he's really going to have some of those dark auburn hues underneath his coat color. You can experiment with different pastels, different color combinations as well. Now the final step, I'm using a Pan Pastel Payne's Gray, and I'm just going to be adding some of that as shading details. I find pastels work really well for highlights. You can add black pastel in some of the darker areas if you feel like you missed something with the airbrush, and you can achieve these highlighted effects. And if you're using any pastel at any point, recommend sealing with a tester's dull coat. So then you can leave this model straight black or you can paint on your white markings at this point. But you can see the sheen that's peeking through and he looks very striking as a black horse. So 
So in the example shown here, this was an Appaloosa Django that I used the same black method underneath, but adding the Appaloosa markings on top. If you have any questions, feel free to message or email me. You can follow me on Instagram, Facebook at DJB Studios. If you want to be the first to know about commission slots, sales pieces, and YouTube tutorials, sign up for my mailing list. You can visit my website to subscribe to the newsletter. All the links for the tools used in this video are in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and happy painting.